dedication, and hard work. That's what gymnastics takes. And for Brittany Emmons, her love of gymnastics started at a young age. I began at the age of two and a half, and I, my mom just told me that I had to wait till my brother was a little bit older before I could be put in, and that day came, and I told her I wanted to be put in gymnastics, and I've done it ever since. Being able to go out there and do something that people can't always say they can do, and that I had all these people that backed me up from my coaches. I've had the same coaches in clubs since I was little, and they've just really been my motivation to be able to help me get through everything and tell me that I was good enough to be able to pursue my dreams. My dream with any other kid was to go to the Olympic Games, and I tried for a very long time. I homeschooled from sixth through eighth grade, trained 40 hours a week, uh, to do the elite program and my body just said that that was too much by the time I became a sophomore in high school and so I kind of altered him a little bit and just said you know what college is probably a good thing to look at into. Natalie was a really good recruiter when it came to me like I had no idea about this school and she did a really good job selling it to me because obviously I'm from Florida so coming up to Indiana was going to be a big shock uh, culture wise, weather wise and everything so I think she did a really good job to make me feel like I was going to be at home here. She's just a very determined, not only athlete, but student, and just really have been really impressed with her her whole time here. And she's one of those athletes that it's not just our school that recognizes her, but it's other schools, they're looking. Heading into her senior season, Brittany Emmons was looking for a MAC championship, but her life took an unexpected turn. Well, we had come back from Thanksgiving. It was, we had Sunday practice, and I was actually getting ready for an inner squad meet on floor, and I was actually doing an easier tumbling pass at the time, and I had already done two beforehand. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do one more. I won't have to tumble again until Friday. And all of a sudden, I just, something felt funny. I took off for a double back, landed short, and that usually never happens to me. And all of a sudden, I just kind of looked down and I looked up at Natalie and was like, it's gone. I was like, my Achilles is gone. I've watched multiple athletes have that injury and she was the first one that started beating on the floor and she looked up at me and it was just something in those eyes where she didn't have to say anything. I knew what it was, but not a tear, not a, not a shriek, nothing, just a bunch of fist pumps into the floor because she knew what that meant. From that moment, I knew like things were going to be tough and that it was going to take a lot of determination, mental adjustments to do whatever I had decided to do because obviously Achilles is a big part <laughs> of being able to move around and stuff. So I knew from that moment I had a bunch of decisions that I needed to make. Ultimately, it was I had to sit out my senior season, and I just I didn't enjoy sitting there watching. And I knew that if I had stopped, I probably would have looked back and regretted my decision of not at least trying. Because at least if I had tried and failed, then I had put in all my effort. My first full practice actually did not come till about November. Being able to do everything, I had swung bars all summer because obviously that's a less impactful event. So I actually did a floor team on the floor with two of my passes. I did my third pass on a resi, and it was disastrous. And all of a sudden after that, I was like, you know what? It didn't go so well, but I'm actually alive and I'm okay and I think I can do this. So I think that was really a turning point for myself and knowing that I can do this. I can be able to make this comeback. With her comeback complete, her role has never been more important. She has the accolades behind her name to support what she says and what she does at all times. So I feel like her role is to lead this team further than we've been so far. I think a lot of people tend to look up to me in that like they know that this was not an easy decision for me to be able to come back and to push myself to get here. I feel like it's slightly different too in the sense that I'm the old person on the team and so they look at me and find maybe more wisdom in myself or something like that. I've had to really work on not really altering my gymnastics but making my gymnastics fit to now my injury that I've had because obviously things 
don't come back always the way they want to. Um, so it's just kind of fixing all the little details that I can because every tenth counts in this sport and I just want to be the best that I can be to help this team out and ultimately get that win over another team. For Ball State Sports Link, I'm Luke Magsman.